to the Tiny Tea Show. My name is Lee. And I'm Naomi. Now let's meet the team. This is Will. This is Joel. And this is Becca. Now today we are going to have a big celebration because Jesus teaches us to be party people. Now let's get this party started. Woo! Hello Tiny Tees, welcome to party time. Before we get started, we need to get warm. So, follow me. One, two, three, off we go to the side. And to the other side. And now we're gonna go down low, down low to the side. And down low to the other side. Okay, and now time for some star jumps. Well done, keep going, keep going. Now high knees, how knees. How high can you get them? How high, how high, how high, how high, how high. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Now we're climbing a mountain, keep going. All the way to the top, nearly at the top. I can see the top, I'm nearly there. Well done, we're at the top. Right now, some pencil jumps. Okay, and to finish off, some chicken feet. Right, really well done. Don't know about you, but I'm feeling a lot warmer now. So let's head into some games. Hey Tiny Tees, are you ready to play some games? Today we've got Joel and Lee competing to see who is the best. Our first game is the Strawberry Lace Race. Laces at the ready. In your mouths. Ready. Steady. Race. race. Oh, oh, Joel's winning. Joel's going Lee's for going for it. Lee is very Interesting expressive. tongue action. Joel's in the lead. Can, can Lee do oh, it? But Lee is catching up. He's not far off. And Joel, Joel is the, the winner. The he is our winner. Let's give Joel a point. Well done, Joel. Lee is still, oh, Lee's finished, finally. And Lee is only just finished. Are you ready for the next game? OK, do you have your blindfolds at the ready? COVID safe blindfolds. Lee, we're going to ask you to spin round three times. You ready? Go. One, One two, two, three. Three. Now, Lee, here's your tail, and I want you to pin the tail on the llama. Who do you think is going to get closer, Joel or Lee? So far, Lee is very far away from the llama. Lee seems very confident. He can't even find he the one llama. Step forward. Can he find the llama? Oh, he's big. Oh, he's oh, found the llama. Oh, he's found the llama. But can he find where the tail should go? Good effort, okay, Lee. He's not too far off. Well and done, now Lee. It's time for Joel. Lee, can you step away? Joel, is your blindfold on? Can you spin three times? One, two, three. Oh, Joel, can I give you your tail? Over. There's your tail. Now, can, can you find Joel the llama? Than Lee? He's found the llama. Oh, oh he's got a different oh, technique. Sam he's Lee feeling tail. the edges. Oh, oh, that is incredible. Joel, take off your blindfold. So this was Joel and this was Lee. So we've got another point for Joel, for Joel here. Well done, Joel. Now, our last and final round involves flower, your faces, no hands, and finding your favourite Haribo sweet in the pile of flour. Who do you think will win? Ready? Steady? Go! <laughs> Lee they got an eye full of flour. Lee's found the sweet! Lee has Lee's found got the, the sweet. sweet! Well done, Lee! Well done, Joel. Oh, Joel drops it. Oh, Joel drops it. It's all but in Lee their mouths. First point. Unfortunately, Lee, Joel's got two winner. points and Lee's only got one. So Joel here is our winner for today's games. Well done, Joel. Which unfortunately Lee means you need to have a pie to the face. Three, two, two one. one. Oh! oh. <laughs> we hoped you enjoyed our games. We had a great time. Now let's uh, start to stand up and we're going to praise God together. Everywhere I 
I wonder if you can tell me what book this is. Did you get it? It's the Bible. Now, the amazing thing about the Bible is that when we read it, God speaks to us. Isn't that amazing? The God who made the, God who made the whole universe, who made me, who made you, who made everyone, wants to speak to us. Now, today, we're going to listen to a story from a book called John in the Bible, a true story about Jesus. So Jesus was at a party. I wonder if you've ever been to a birthday party. One of the great things about going to a birthday party is that we get lots of nice food and drink to have. Now Jesus was at a party. It wasn't a birthday party, but it was a wedding party to celebrate two people getting married. So Jesus was there um, at the party with his mum and his friends. Everyone was having a great and wonderful time. But then something terrible happened. They ran out of things to drink. Oh no. The only thing left to drink was water. So Jesus' mum said to the servants, don't worry, Jesus will sort it. Do whatever he tells you. So Jesus told the servants, you see those big jars over there? Fill them right to the top with water. So the servants took the big jars and filled them up with water. Then Jesus told the servants to take the jars to the man in charge of the party. So they did. But as they looked at the jars which were previously filled with water, they were amazed because something amazing had happened. It wasn't water anymore. It was wine. Jesus had turned the water into wine. The servants took the wine to the man in charge of the party. Yum, he said. It was the best wine he had ever tasted. He didn't know where it had come from, but the servants knew that Jesus was the one that had turned the water into wine. Isn't that amazing? No normal person could do that. Only God could do that. From the story Will just told us, we can see that Jesus loved to celebrate. Mm. A wedding is a very special party between two people starting their lives together. It is. I remember about a year ago, it was my wedding day. Do you remember that? I do. It was a great party and there was so much dancing. Yes, I absolutely loved that day. It was a great celebration. But what does the word celebrate actually mean? Google tells me that a celebration is to acknowledge a significant or happy day or event with a social gathering or enjoyable activity. Hmm. In our story today, Jesus didn't want the wedding guests to be disappointed. 
So he turned the water into wine. How amazing. Wow. Isn't it incredible to know that Jesus can perform miracles even at a busy party? Now, I love a good party. Do you? I definitely love a good party, especially one that involves food. Mm. What's your favourite food, Naomi? My favourite party food mm. is probably party rings. That's the a good one. Great biscuits. Yeah, I like a good sausage roll. Mm, they're good. Jesus encouraged people to celebrate life. What does that mean for us? And what does it mean to live a life of celebration? Mm, you see, we worship a God who created everything. He created us and he loves us. He also created the world around us. That's amazing. But the thing is, why did God create us? He created us for his glory so that we could worship him. And his creation is amazing. And we should celebrate that. Let's take a bit of time to think about what our favorite thing is about God's creation. That could be the beautiful landscape around where you live. It could be your favorite animal, or it could be the people that you love. I would like to thank God for the beaches up here in Newcastle. They're absolutely stunning and it's a great day out. Now, God sent Jesus, his only son, uh, to set us free by dying on a cross. Jesus loved us so much that he um, went through suffering and pain so that our sins can be forgiven. Now, what is a sin? Sin is something we do that doesn't please God. And when we live our life by our own rules and not by God's. I think we should live a life of celebration because of how awesome it is that we are so loved by Jesus. Mm. Now let's sign Jesus together like so. And as we sign, let's remember the pain and suffering Jesus went through, showing his never ending love for us. Yeah. And because Jesus set us free and because he loves us, we should want to tell other people about that. When we go into our schools, when we go and have play dates, we should want other people to know that they are loved and set free from sin, just like we know that we are. Wouldn't it be amazing to share his love to everybody that we know? We can show love by um, being people of celebration living a life that pleases God and brings his light to the people around us. That would be amazing. Okay, now Becca is going to show us how to share his love through a celebration with baking. Hi, Tiny Tees, let's get baking. Today, we're gonna to be making some icing for cupcakes. I'm gonna show you how to make buttercream. So in my bowl, I've got 150 grams of room temperature butter and 300 grams of icing sugar, which I've sifted in. So now we're gonna mix this together. You need to make sure that your butter is nice and soft so that it comes together really easily. And you can add more icing sugar or more butter as you see fit. So I think mine needs a little bit more butter, so I'm going to add that in now. You can also add some orange zest or lemon zest in um, just to give it a different flavour. Um, today I'm going to be using vanilla essence to give it a nice vanilla flavour. So that's all come together really nicely now and my arm's a little bit tired. I'm now going to add in just a splash of vanilla essence. So you're just going to add in a tiny drop of this just to give it a bit of flavour. There we go. And after I mix that in, I'm going to separate my mixture into three different bowls and start by adding some food colouring. So I'm going to pop some of my green bowl here. There we go. So I'm going to put some orange food colouring in this green bowl and give it a good mix to make it orange. 
and you, can, and you can add as much or as little as you want to make it change colour. So that's starting to turn orange, but I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Excellent. And once you've got that all mixed in, we can move on to our next colour. So I'm going to put, be putting purple icing in my pink bowl. And we're going to mix that all together. And so we've got two different colours to choose from. And then I'm going to leave the last batch plain. You don't have to use food colouring, but if you have it at home, feel free to. Excellent, that's a lovely purple colour. So now we're going to move on to icing our cupcakes. So I'll put this to the side. And we'll start with this one. We'll start with a lovely purple colour. So Jesus absolutely loved a party, as you heard in Will's story. And I know that at the moment, it can be a really hard time to show how we love and appreciate our friends in a, in a safe way. But one way that we can be doing that at school is by just talking to your friends and asking them how they are. Um, and if you see someone who's maybe a bit lonely or by themselves on the playground, you can be that person to go up to them and have a conversation with them and just make them know that they are loved and that Jesus loves them. So after we've iced these two, we can start doing some decorations. So with me, I've got some silver balls and some chocolate balls. I'm going to start with the silver balls. And I'm going to make a cross shape on my cupcake. And this is such a wonderful way that you can worship and praise Jesus. Um, and you can make any shape you like um, and you can also just put them on wherever um, but I feel this is a really nice way to show Jesus how much we love him and find ways to be creative um, and just great with our worship and you can, you, you can give one of these cupcakes to someone in your family or someone that's in your home and you can tell them how much Jesus loves them this is our cross one um, and with this one I'm just going to sprinkle them wherever and you can put some chocolate balls on them uh, make them really fun and colourful and when all this coronavirus is over you can hopefully give your cupcakes to your friends which will be really a really lovely way to show them Jesus's love and how much we care for them Next time you do some baking, think of different ways that you can praise God. I'm going to take these cupcakes home and give them to my friends to show them how much Jesus loves them. Now we're going to go into a time of prayer. So we are going to pray together now. The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, when you go to a celebration, like a party, there are lots of things to taste and see. For example, sweets, chocolate, cake, crisps. I like Haribo. There are things to see. Balloons, bunting, streamers. Loads of things that make a celebration. And so let's pray together. Thank you, God, for all the wonderful things we can taste. Thank you that you created them and we can celebrate that you are good. And God, we thank you for all the things we see in the world. The mountains, the rivers, the beautiful countries. Thank you that you created everything and we can celebrate that you are good. And why don't we say together now the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. 
Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Tiny Tees, we have loved having you at our party today. We have loved celebrating with all of you. Remember, Jesus has called us to be party people. So until next time, bye! bye.